and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Have you ever said to yourself, self, I want to play this sweet deck, but I don't have access to these cards, or I don't have the time to put the cards together and sleeve them up and get them ready for webcam play and all of... If you've just never had the time, or if you don't have access to said cards, I may have an option for you. You can play anything that you want, mostly between yourself and your friend group. I can give you access to the entire Magic Library. It sounds crazy, I know, but what we're going to do is we're going to use a broadcasting software, a free broadcasting software, and we're going to use it as a virtual camera to broadcast Moxfield's playtesting capability. It's really easy to set up. Just follow the next steps and you'll be up and running in no time. This tutorial is basically meant to get a person from point A to point B in the fewest steps possible so they can play with digital cards via a virtual camera and broadcast that into spell table or zoom what have you that said there are a plethora of advanced options available to folks using OBS studio we're not going to cover that here I want to get you from broadcasting your Moxfield playtest area into a game of Free For All Commander in the fewest steps possible. Let's begin. Once you've downloaded OBS Studio, link in the description, and installed it and have launched it for the very first time, this is exactly what you're going to see. There are a couple of panels down here on the bottom, some controls on the right hand side. There's this large black box. Essentially what the black box represents is everything that will be seen when OBS is used as a source. We're not gonna worry about audio sources today because Spelltable is compatible with, with audio. Whether you use Spelltable audio or audio channels within Discord, doesn't matter. You'll end up setting an external audio source in those platforms when you do this setup. This will only be for establishing a virtual cam that's displaying your digital cards. On the periphery, I've already launched my Moxfield playtest function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sources box here to go find that. I'm going to create, out of all these sources here, I'm looking for this one in particular, window capture. Click on that. I like to give my stuff names, so we'll just call this... Moxfield, make source visible, which means if you if you don't select this, nothing will show up in this black area. If you select this, it will show up in this area. And because I have only one browser window open, it automatically defaulted to the Moxfield playtest area. In the event you have more than one Chrome or browser window open, you'll use this drop down to select that. Capture method automatic, match title, otherwise find window of same type. This is what I was talking about, the Chrome extension. And then we can deselect this and it won't capture the, the cursor. See the buttons on the right hand side? Can't see the cursor, but you can see the buttons highlighted. So that's what this button does. Client area, basically captures the entirety of that window, that is fine. So we're gonna select OK, and it has placed it in our OBS display window, this black window here. Okay, so here is the fun part. We don't want all of this extraneous stuff on the top here. So we're gonna press down the Alt button and grab this here, and we're gonna crop that out. Now, this is our hand. We don't want everybody to see, so we're going to do the same thing here on the bottom. We are going to grab this, pressing the Alt button, we're going to grab this and we're going to come up. In your browser window, which you can't see, my browser window is on this side on a different screen. You're going to see me highlight these buttons. I'm also going to hover over a card down below. Down here, you'll see that little blue. You'll see the card pop up as a preview. So once we get over my hand, well, this presents a problem. So as I go looking through my hand, you can see down here at the bottom here what's visible and what is not. So we may even want to trim that a little bit more. But also, there's these cards that are poking up on the right hand side and we have to do something about that this is our exile pile and if we notice that the card comes up right about the e right about here so we're going to take the alt 
We're gonna come over to about here, test this again. Okay, the card pops up. So you can see down at the bottom, I'm hovering over a number of cards and they are not popping up on the right-hand side. Two CMC, land, land. So you can tell all of that information by what pops up here at the bottom. So we're gonna fix that. Remember, press Alt, grab, grab the edge here, and we're gonna come up. So now we have this oblong shape. Essentially, we're gonna grab this. We're going to, without pressing Alt or Control or Shift or anything like that, we're just gonna grab this corner here, and we're gonna make this larger. Go ahead and center this here. Sometimes it'll automatically snap over to one side or the other. Now, what we'll do, to show you how this works. I'm gonna take my commander. I'm gonna set my commander out on the battlefield where everybody can see it. We'll play a land, uh, double click to tap, cast intervene. Uh, intervene will go to the graveyard once it's cast. And there you go. You can see how all of this works. Once you get this set up, you don't need to look at this screen anymore. And let's do ourselves a favor while we're, while we're thinking about it. Go ahead and lock that so that way I can't click on it anymore. So what I'll do is I'll drag this screen over and this is how I'll be manipulating my deck. This will be this will be what everybody is seeing and this will be how I manipulate my deck. Now we will also want to monitor along with this screen the spell table screen or Zoom game or Discord screen. However that it is you playing with your friends, you'll wanna have access to this main screen here. You can see it's the one being captured by this yellow outline and the spell table uh, window as well. Before we finish up here, I wanna show you a couple of other features and we'll move on to the next port. So anytime a person opens up their library, Moxfield specifically, Arc Deck Tech or some of the other playtest functions do not have this functionality here. But if you open up your library, it actually tells you that it's uh, open here. Once you close it, that goes away. If a person shuffles their library, this functionality comes up here on the screen. Draw doesn't change, but if I go to next turn, you can see that it automatically untaps my land, switches this to turn two. There is some trust because there's a lot of stuff that you can't see off the edge of the screen, but I just wanted to prove that if a person opens their library to look at their library, they can tell, other players can tell. Uh, you can also tell when it's closed. And then when a person shuffles their library, you can also tell that. That uh, should minimize uh, uh, trust issues and cheating. Okay, we're ready to move to the next part. Once you have your battlefield area set up the way that you want it to be set up, we're ready to use OBS Studio as a virtual webcam. So we're gonna hit the Start Virtual Camera button, and now it is broadcasting this screen as a webcam. Let's bring up Spell Table. Now what you see here is the overhead camera for the game table behind me. We're gonna obviously change that. What we're gonna do, you're gonna see a lot of sources that you probably won't have, so this will be a little bit easier. I have all of these different camera sources. What you were gonna select and what we are gonna select is this OBS virtual camera. That's the feed that's being streamed out of OBS, what we set up a few moments ago for your, make sure that uh, this is set up for your microphone, this is set up for your speakers, and we'll close. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna join Join now. Nice. As expected, you can actually see that my microphone is hooked up because I'm, I'm talking here. So if you plan on streaming audio through Spelltable, leave the microphone icon highlighted. Otherwise, if you're streaming audio through Discord or Zoom or something else, you will want to mute this so that way you don't have an echo in audio. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> uh, many Magic the Gathering players ask the question. <laughs> uh, Jesus, talk about copyright. Website, function, web, website, function, function, website. <laughs>